ambition. Free your inner soul and break away from tradition. Cause when we be out, girl, it's full of heat out. You wouldn't believe how we wow. House. And the ball will go to Florida Gulf Coast. Tip off was brought to you, as always, by Woman's Hospital. And Alexis Morris is going to make a very quick appearance into the game. Morris, a transfer from Texas A&M, was a five-star who played at Baylor for Kim Mulkey a few years ago. She comes in quickly for Ryan Payne. Inbounds quickly, a three ball in the air and good. Kirsten Bell. Now that's an ominous start as they on the inbound. Bell was open to shoot the three. That's what they do. Bell has now made a three in every game in her Florida Gulf Coast career. Morris at Texas A&M transferred over, just became eligible a couple days ago. Cherry, right wing, will get pushed. There's a push away from the ball. Let's see who they got. It's on Florida Gulf Coast. And we saw that substitution pretty early. Coach is setting the tune that, Ryan Payne, you got to go get that ball early and, and work hard. And the coach is not happy. Pointer inbound to Guster. Touch pass. Pointer layup good and a foul. Did somebody just confuse you with LaChina Roberts? I think they did. I might be about a foot shorter. <laughs> somebody asked me earlier if you were Marie Ferdinand, too. So, Shaina Williams, our former director of ops and uh, new color person for this year, has been confused with a lot of celebrities. Pointers, free throw, spins, and it goes in. That was an outstanding inbounds play that LSU was able to run. Yes. Pointer, uh, Guster, Pointer got it to Guster's touch pass to Pointer, who came back in. She laid it in, drew the foul. So, LSU will defend and see if they can defend a little better against the three this time because they're going to shoot them. Bell, right wing. It's Newby out to get her to begin with. And Coach said, we'll kind of see how that goes. Morehouse, the guard, down the lane around Cherry. Tough layup, though, off the glass. Rebound tipped out. Carly C., who checked in, has it. Out to Mo uh, Bell, who hits another three. Rebounding is going to be key. Sh teams that shoot the three, when they get the offensive rebound, they'll shoot it up again. Six to three. Florida Gulf Coast by three. Cherry inside the key, jump shot, back iron, no good. Newby tried for the offensive board, and a couple of Florida Gulf Coast players collide and bobble it, but TK Morehouse has it. Morehouse at the top of the key to Bell. Bell, uh, Newby has allowed her to hit a couple of threes. Pass left wing, Morehouse open three. She missed that one, but Carly C went and got the rebound. Yeah, you gotta get those. Can't give them second chances. C's gonna drive on pointer, layup is good. Well, that had to be a little flashback uh, from practices for a few years. As C working on pointer, it is 8-3, to three, Florida Gulf Coast. Guster's in the paint, lobs it right corner to Cherry. 18-footer, side of the rim, no. Newby had the rebound, lost it, a tripping foul on Cherry. And I think we're going to see that a lot. Guster's was double teamed, and she kicked it out, and our guards have got to knock those shots down. Now Cherry's missed a couple. Florida Gulf Coast. Three for five. They've hit a couple of threes. Morehouse at the top of the key to Emma List. List is going to drive right side. They kick it out, work at the perimeter. Bell at the top, crossover dribble. Lost it, knocked away. Cherry's got it. Cherry on a race to the bucket. She will take it and miss the layup, but Morris puts it back up and in. Great defense. And a great finish on the other end for the Tigers. So Morris has her first points as an LSU player. It's 8-5, to five, Florida Gulf Coast by three. List lost it again. Cherry's got it again. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Cherry's headed to the bucket. She'll stop. Fake. Five-footer. Missed off the glass. Put back. Gusters is good. It's great to see the Tigers just following the shots and finishing on the second shot. Down the court around Cherry. Layup no good. Cherry has committed her second foul as Morehouse missed. So, Kendall Spray for Florida Gulf Coast. A sharp shooter, 372 threes of her career. She's now at her third stop. Tennessee Martin, Clemson, and now Florida Gulf Coast. But Cherry's going to have to sit with two fouls. Ryan Payne is back in. And two free throws to be shot. First one by Morehouse is good. 
And it is a fast pace, which we thought we would see. Nine to seven, Florida Gulf Coast. Second one is also good. And it is 10 to seven. So LSU's got Payne who will dribble with it. Newby and uh, Morris and Gusters and Pointer in there. Pointer guarded by C. Pointer is going to pass left wing to Morris, who is also a good shooter. Not open there. Left corner to Payne. Seven minutes to go first quarter. Payne around a screen. 15-footer left elbow is in. So it's 10 to 9. 6.52 to go in the quarter. Right wing thinking hard about a three, not taking it. Instead dribbling down the lane and laying it in is Emma List. Well, three-pointers and layups are what we're going to see from them. That's what we'll see. Uh, the closeout was big, so it forced the drive. Morris at the top of the key. Crossover dribble. Is she going to shoot? No, she's going to cross over down the lane. Tried to lob it up for Gusters. Not high enough, and it's stolen by Kirsten Bell. Bell uh, down the lane, takes it to the hole, and lays it in. And she's got eight quick ones, and it's 14-9 Florida Gulf Coast. 6.13 to go, first quarter. Pointer lobbed it behind her, nobody home, and this is going to be a breakout two-on-one. Bell has it, fakes, five-footer off the glass and in. Bell has 10, and it's a 16-9 Florida Gulf Coast lead. Kim Mulkey wants a timeout. We'll take it with them. She played at Rutgers for seven games a few years ago, but in, in 2017-18, she played for Baylor, played 34 games for Coach Kim Mulkey, averaged nine points a game, and a guard that just became eligible due to all the transfer rulings, so she is she got in five seconds into this game. Pointer right wing, gets it to Newby right baseline, puts it on the floor, turns, spins one-hander, bounces out from five, and the rebound is taken by number 10, Kendall Spray. Pass left wing to Kirsty Phillips. And we got a drive by Carly C down low. I think a blocking foul has been called. They get they, they get got pointer. pointer on that one. Kirsty Phillips, P-H-I-L-L-S. She's from Charlotte. If that rings a bell, she is the daughter of the late Bobby Phils, who played at Southern University, of course played in the NBA, and died in 2000 in a tragic traffic accident. But Kirsty Phils is the daughter of Bobby and a pretty good player for them, averaging five a game as a starter. Phils wears number 13 and owed to her father. Spray at the top of the key. There's 11 to shoot. Gets it to C. C down the lane. Splits defenders. Layup off the glass. Too hard. No good. Newbie rebound out to Payne. Down the left sideline to Pointer. Pointer into the lane. And a is she tied up or fouled? I would hope the foul would have been called there. There was a lot of contact. Yeah, Pointer is going to get a couple. I think they got Phils on the foul. And that's what we've seen from the Tigers, getting the rebound, pushing it up, forcing some things in transition, just to force Florida Gulf Coast to get back some. Well, second chance points, Florida Gulf Coast has five. LSU's got four, but they've got to keep Florida Gulf Coast away from those second chances. Pointer will shoot a couple. She made uh, one earlier. We'll get two more. Down 16 to 9, 515 to go in the first quarter. Pointer floats it up and it rolls out. No good. Then she'll get another. Sets and fires that one. That's in. A pointer two out of three at the line has four points. Number one, Bell is back in, and she'll come in for C. And look like Alba Trossi's going to have to know where Bell is and play some defense. Yep, Trossi did check in uh, for Newby. Kendall Spray is going to be guarded closely by Morris. Spray is the one who shoots all the threes. Out, as of course, they all do, but especially Spray. Cox around the arc, right point, up top to Bell. Going to drive around Trossi, down the lane. Finger roll up off the glass, no good. Pointer will rebound. That was Bell's first miss. Pointer down the lane, one-handed runner is good. About a seven-footer. If Pointer can get those shots to start falling again, that's good news. 16-12, wide open three by Phils is good. Well, somebody forgot about her. Got to get the matchups in transition. And it's 19 to 12. Kim Mulkey was displeased by that. Um, and she's going to get Cherry to come back in, even though Cherry's got two fouls. 421 to go in the first quarter. 19 to 12, Florida Gulf Coast. Payne down low to Gusters, had position, lost it. Taken by Trossi, leans in and lays it off the glass and in. Great focus by Trossi just to get that basket between two defenders. Trossi uh, checking in for LSU. Trossi at two points in the first game. Driving around Gusters. Phil's got down low. He's cut off. Needs help. 
Gets it out to Spray and has it deflected out of bounds by Kristen. Uh, not, I will probably call her Kristen Morris a couple of times. Kristen played here about 20 years ago. Yes. was a post player. It's Alexis Morris. Well, Patrick, when you've been around as long as you have, you had a lot of names to remember. Yeah, and they uh, and Morris wore like 44, 45. Uh, Kristen, talking about Kristen, she was from Michigan, played uh, part in LSU's final four teams. Maybe happy we're talking about her today. A list inside the key, gets it out to Bell. Quick swing, left wing C, who came back in the game, and she drained a three. Well, Carly's feeling it. She's got five. It's 22 to 14, and these guys are hot, you know, and they were, they only shot 25% on threes their first two games. You knew they weren't going to stay cold forever. They're firing them up today. Trossi, 17-footer is good from the right point. Oh, these teams are going back and forth. It's 22 to 16, Florida Gulf Coast. Gulf, Florida Gulf Coast four for five on threes. There's another one. That one is no good by List from the corner. Rebound by Pointer. Zigzagging through traffic. Up ahead to Cherry, who did come back in. And uh, she came in for pain, I believe. Guster's 18-footer straight away. Back iron, no good. She hit one of those against Nichols. They gave it to her there. She didn't get it. Spray got the rebound to List down the lane. I think she carried the ball or traveled. She traveled. Cherry did a good job of, of getting back and giving a little help there, which forced the travel. Both teams lighten it up. LSU 54% from the floor. Florida Gulf Coast 62%. Gusters and Trossi will get a breather. And Faustina Thule will come in, as will Awatrasi. I'm sorry, as uh, Autumn Newby. Now, uh, Thule played against them a couple years ago down in Fort Myers, the game that LSU won. Trailed by three with four minutes to go, ended up winning. Pointer lobs it down to Fua, turns, two-footer is in. Give uh, Pointer an assist, and it's 22 to 18. LSU down four, Bell, free throw line, kicks it right side. Seneca Hackley, who had just checked in, at the top to Morehouse. Morehouse around Morris, wild runner near the bucket, no good. Pointer rebound. Pointer lobs it ahead to Morris. Morris right wing. Fires it up high to Afua. Free throw line jumper. Could not get the bounce. Newby the rebound. Put it up. No good. Newby again had her shot blocked, but she was fouled with 2.14 to go. Tigers fighting it hard on the boards. Yes, Newby's going to give us that tenacity on the board. She uh, missed the first put back and missed the second, but was fouled on it. Payne will come back in for Cherry. I think uh, Coach Mulkey spent a few minutes trying to get Payne's head right here. Yes, and Cherry with those two fouls, we got to be careful of how much she plays this first half. Yeah, see how Newby can do at the free throw line. She was 0 for 1 in the game against Nichols. Free throw here is in, and it is 22 to 19. We've still got 2:14 to go in the first quarter. Uh, you know, a lot of you know a lot of our new folks who have bought the season tickets may be seeing their first game. They're going to be in for a treat today, I think, with the these two teams. Second one is good. You know, the, uh, the folks watching our simulcast who are Florida Gulf Coast people, they're familiar with this style. A lot of our new fans are not. And uh, we've played, haven't played eight minutes, and it's 22 to 20 already, Florida Gulf Coast. TK Morehouse, senior, 5'3", senior, averaged 17 a game last year. Crossover got around a pointer, missed the tough layup, though, and an LSU rebound. So they're forcing misses on the layups. Morris the rebound. LSU can tie or take the lead. Morris will free throw line, double clutch, 12-footer, no good, but she got her own rebound. Turns, hands it to a Fua, 10-footer baseline, bounce, bounce. She couldn't get the bounce again. Newby fights There's hard. Newby. She got the rebound out up top pane. I think she traveled. Drug her foot. That's LSU's third turnover. Great work on the boards by Newby to get it out, and Payne was just so excited that she shuffled her feet. Yeah, Newby uh, already with three offensive rebounds. She had double-figure offensive boards in the two exhibitions. Morehouse again down the lane. This time she's open and lays it in. So they're doing good. They set screens in the lane and get their, their people open alleys to the bucket. And there's a there's a worry about leaving the three-point shooter, so then they don't help on the – the Tigers aren't helping on the drive. Well, the thing was they only shot 25% their first two games from three. A fool in the lane, turns, shoots, five-footer. That one is no good. Rebound Morehouse. They were shooting 71% on twos. 
Hackley will drive on Pointer, and Pointer, good defense, made her miss the layup, and it's taken out Newby to Morris. Gets it left baseline, Payne almost walked again, but she needs help up top to Pointer. Pointer has six to lead LSU. Under a minute to go in the quarter. Pointer down the lane, scoops it up and in, and counts and a foul. Kayla Pointer is playing big for the Tigers today. She's rebounding, she's defending, and to be able to get to that basket and finish with the foul. 24-22, Florida Gulf Coast. Gusters is in, Afua is out. And LSU 45% from the floor. Pointer will shoot. Florida Gulf Coast, four of six on threes. They are five of 11 on twos. Again, 71% in their first two games. So they're getting layups. Some are open, but some are contested that they're missing. And here's Pointer's high arcing free throw that bounces in. It's a one point game. Pointer's got nine. Here comes Florida Gulf Coast. List will hand it off to Bell at long range. Newby will try to check her. At the top, Phil swings it left side, Carly C. C inside the key, goes up and throws up a wild shot. Eight footer, no good. Tried a little hard on that one. Payne the other way. Payne, right elbow, will turn around and wait for help. LSU can take a lead for the first time in the game. 17 on the shot clock, 24 on the game clock, so about a seven second difference. Alexis Morris at the top. Will go right side around her man, leans in. Oh, I thought she should have shot it, tried to pass it instead. Big scramble in the lane, ball on the floor. It's going to be a tie ball to LSU with four on the shot clock. That was great hesitation by Alexis Moore and just forced it trying to pass to the Gusters instead of taking the wide open layup. Yeah, I thought she had a good look at that. Now, LSU now dominating the boards 13 to 7. They're going to need to do that today. So LSU gets the jump ball, so we'll inbound it here. But only four. A lob up to Gusters, who tapped it. It comes out to Payne with one. A shot at the buzzer. No good from about 15. Florida Gulf Coast rebound, five and counting. Bell into the front court with two, with one. About a 40-footer off the glass. No good. And that is how the first quarter ends. Very exciting. Very well played. Florida Gulf Coast 24, LSU 23. LSU fans, show off your team spirit at the game or even at home. One studio, 24-23, Florida Gulf Coast. And uh, the Eagles will have the ball to start the second quarter. They shot 50% in the first quarter, LSU 42.9. Ball is on the floor. Big scramble, Morris and C are gonna tie up. Roll over on top of and each other. And nobody wants to get that ball up. No, this- the Whistle's man. blown, ladies. Yeah, whistle's blown, boy. Had a-, uh, a Car Carly's playing with some emotion Yeah, today. she's got she's a little emotion of former LSU Tiger, Carly C is- Playing with a little emotion she today. She came over as she was in. She inbounded in front of us a little while. We kind of gave Shaida a little look like, yeah, this, here we are. Here we are. You know, who, who would have known, uh, you know, this time a year ago that she'd be wearing the blue and LSU would have a new coach and everything is going on. But Carly's here playing hard. And uh, I know she, you know, she told us she follows our games when she's not yes. playing. She is. Complimented Shaida on the good job she's doing watching. I didn't say much about me. She said Shaida was doing a good job. So it was good. The legendary Patrick Wright. Tigers trying to get the lead. Morris 18 footer banked it in from just behind the free throw line. I don't know if she meant to, but it'll count four for Morris. And LSU is up one for the first time in the game, 25-24. C down the lane, splits defenders, and Morris blocks her shot from behind. And that got everybody up are they going to call that a tie ball or just out of bounds the bench wanted that to be called a tie ball because morris absolutely stuffed yes that and, shot and coach is pointing like it's our ball yes and she's pumped up about it and the big crowd kind of for the first time guys something a big play to and they get to see the coach and uh her reaction on the sideline, and they did call that a tie ball. Yes, Coach hangs her head on defense, so there's nothing that's going to get her more excited than a great stop. Well, I think given, and, and she's been talking about it all week, she knew this was going to be a very hard matchup with this Florida Gulf Coast squad, and I, I think seeing that big 24 on the board is probably driving her insane right now, but, but her team's got 25, yes. and they've got the ball, so... 
and Alexis Morris has definitely made an impact. Pointer, who is three for three from the floor. Right side, free throw line, stops, 12-footer, good by Pointer. And Great job of using that screen, and Pointer's got to knock those mid-range shots down. She's got 11. She had trouble in the preseason, missing a lot of her interior shots, but she has hit them today. 11 for Pointer, LSU by three. Bell working on Newby. Pass at the top of the key to Morehouse. Morehouse around the screen to the right elbow. Back out to Bell, a long three. Back iron, didn't get it. Pointer rebound. Bell has been a little quieter after a quick start with 10 points. Payne pull up, 12 footer. That's not a good shot there. Not a good shot by Payne, and she's just got to relax and let the game come. Bell got the rebound. Emma List at the top of the key to spray. And a pass into the LSU bench out of bounds. Alexis Morris has come in and brought great energy. She came from behind and got a little distraction and tipped it and got us another uh, steal there. Well, they've been wanting to play Morris, but she just became eligible. I mean, she's been practicing, yes. so they know what she can do. And she is, I'm not, I don't think she has come out since she entered the game. Top of the key to Pointer, LSU up by three with the ball. Pointer gets it left corner to Morris for three. It's short, no good. Long, at first LSU three attempt of the game and Spray gets the rebound. That would have put LSU up six instead. Ball to the floor to Gulf Coast. Bell, a shot fake. Newby fell down. Bell to the hole, layup is good and a foul. That is, uh, that's WNBA level action right there from Bell. She is a very skilled player. She can shoot the three, she can put it on the floor, and she finishes. And she has 12 points. With 7.55 to go in the first half, it is 27 to 26. I haven't put the points on the, there it is, points on the scoreboard. Bell's free throw missed, and only LSU players there, Awatrasi gets the rebound. So LSU still up by point. They have been down by seven early. Morris at the top of the key, picks up her dribble, needs help, gets it out at long range to Payne. Cherry on the bench with a couple fouls. Newby sets a screen for Payne. Payne inside the key, gets it to Trossi. A nice spin move, leans, turns, five footer is blocked. I think Bell blocked it and got the ball. And here come Florida Gulf Coast. Morehouse, dish underneath, layup is no good in traffic, missed by List, and I think List committed a foul after the frustration of the missed free throw, or missed layup. Yeah, out of some frustration, uh, List missed it, kind of gets newbie there, who was going to the boards for the for the rebound, so you know, still working hard. Now the scoring pace has slowed down a little bit. In the first two minutes, 40 seconds of this quarter, it's only a four to two LSU edge after a 24-23 first quarter for the Eagles. Payne will bring it into the front court. In fact, we've not really seen Pointer bring it up much at all in this game. Payne will get it left wing over to Alexis Morris. And Morris will hold her dribble, and I think it was a five-second call. Yeah, she held it too long. Nobody uh, moved to get the ball. Yeah, she was caught with it, but her teammates have to work to get open. Florida Gulf Coast is doing a good bit of denial, but you got to work to get open. That is only the fourth LSU turnover. Florida Gulf Coast has committed just five. So it's been a clean game. Morehouse inside the arc, left side working hard on Payne. Then a backdoor cut to Bell who leans in and lays it home. Very nicely done. Bell's got 14. And they are now up are the Eagles by one, 28-27. We're gonna see Gusters and Afua come in. Morris gets it up top to Trossi. Lobs it down low. Newby's got position. Layup is good. That's a great high-low pass from Trossi to Newby who finishes. Back quickly the other way, C into the game, and a blocking foul called on Alexis Morris. Now Morris tried to take one out of the Carly C playbook and draw a charge, and the official said Morris was moving a little bit. Now, I didn't think we would see Gusters and Afua in at the same time, but we are about to see that. Yeah, with the, with the pace of this game, we'll see what those two can do together. LSU up a point, driving his Morehouse around traffic and up uh, lays it up and in around Ryan Payne. Well, Morehouse has four, has six actually, and Florida Gulf Coast up a point, 30-29. Morris, free throw line to Gusters, dumps it down for Afua, but it's too high and is taken off to the deflection by Carly C. C, top of the key, hands it to Bell on the trail. We'll get inside the key, back out to C for a three, and it's good. 
Carly's hit a couple. She's got eight. Florida Gulf Coast back up by four. Yeah, Carly C was guarding Afua, so they just got to take their time and pass it in without turning it over. Pointer looking for Afua. Somebody is over her shoulder. and But this latest activity is going to get uh, Trossi and Newby back in the game. Her third. Yeah, I think the whole point of putting Gusters and Afua in was for them to work together with the high-low. And since that didn't happen, they're going to have a seat now. So LSU down four. Florida Gulf Coast has made three shots in a row. They are five of eight shooting threes after going just 25% their first two games. Inbounds Morris, left baseline, 14-footer. Good off the assist from Pointer on the inbound. Alexis Morris has six, 33-31 Florida Gulf Coast. Trailing uh, list has it. Back at long range, Morehouse. Morehouse puts it on the floor inside the key. Working oh. Pointer to travel. Sorry, Patrick, I got excited <laughs> there. Pointer did a great job defending, and I was hoping that she would get rewarded for that. And she was. Uh, the travel was called. I was uh, equally excited by that. I'm, I'm glad the officials saw the yes. travel. So, Afua actually is, is Afua and Guster's back again. I think it's an offensive defensive thing. So, but, when yeah. there's a dead ball. We'll try to take advantage of the two or, or big maybe, players. Maybe take one more shot at the interior action here if they can. Payne, top of the key to Morris. Looking for a Guster screen. Has it right elbow. Jump shot. Side of the rim. No good. Afua rebound. Put back is good. And a foul. Now Afua was just head and shoulders above everybody. And that's what she's in there for. Head and shoulders above. So that's going to be a tough box out for Florida Gulf Coast. And Afua did a great job. When she got the rebound, getting it high, keeping it high. 33 apiece now is the score. And I think, Shida, you are onto something. I think they're going offense, defense is with the break. Afua is back, or rather, uh, Trossi is back, and Gusters will take a breather. Gusters, with what Florida Gulf Coast does, I'm not sure Gusters defensively is, is what you're looking for in the game. Yes, yeah, so when, when we can take advantage of the dead ball and get our quicker players in on defense, I think that's what coach is looking to see. For the lead, Afua does not get the free throw. and The rebound is taken by number 13, Phils, for Florida Gulf Coast. Tied at 33-5-10 to go in the very interesting first half here from the Maravich Center. Crossover dribbled by Morehouse. Gets it out to Bell. Pointer guarding her right now. Bell has to throw it back out at long range to Br Tanner Bryant, who just checked it. I take it back. That's 10 spray, not 20. Spray had it. They have kept her under wrap. Six to shoot. I thought it was a double dribble. Pass into the lane anyway. Knocked away. Stolen as uh, Stanley fell down. Morris free throw line. Hits Pointer. Three ball. Left side is good. That is awesome. A great defensive stop. They hit the three, and they get the steal. Kim Mulkey is uh, out on the floor exhorting the crowd to get up and yell and scream. They do. Penetration by Morris. The kick out, the pointer, the three ball. The crowd is up, and LSU's up 36-33. We're back after this on the LSU Sports Radio Network. It used uh, emphatic. Uh, you know, during those those exhibition games, we didn't see much. Actually, Afua on the inbound missed the four-footer. LSU somehow got the ball back out of all of that. And Carly C will bring it into the front court. Bell pass uh, left wing to Spray. Right wing over to Carly C, who's hit a couple. Out to Morehouse, down the lane, around Afua, and she banked it in. Yeah, LSU, I thought Florida Gulf Coast called a timeout, but LSU, they must have turned it over. They turned it over, so then they called the timeout okay. after on that dead ball. I, I missed that, but LSU didn't take advantage. It's 36-35, LSU Gusters, free throw on jumper. They leave her open. She shoots it off the back iron. Offensive board, put back is good by, by Ryan. Ryan Payne. That's great to see her getting some movement in. She's got to do a better job on defense, but to get that put back by Payne was a, a good look. List. Free throw line down the lane. We'll kick it back out to Kendall Spray. Spray gets around a screen. We'll shoot a three and hit it. I was just about to say they had kept her away from some shots, and she shoot her shoot. She found a tiny opening. We're tied at 38. Florida Gulf Coast six of nine. Morris a three. That one rolls out. No good. And Bell the rebound. So each team has had you know little spurts here. There, Florida Gulf Coast led by seven early. Right wing to Spray. She gets into the lane, kicks it out to List for three. That's wide left. Barely drew the rim and will kick out of bounds. 
we told you, over Florida Gulf Coast shot more threes than twos in their first two games. Today, they have shot 10 threes and 18 twos. So they're trying to get more to the basket. LSU has started to defend the drives for twos. Ryan Payne into the front court. Three minutes to go in the first half. We're tied at 38 from the Maravich Center. Pass out near half court. Pointer's got to save it from Payne. She does. Still 13 to shoot. Payne working on Carly C. Gets the screen from Afua. Pointer dribbles in. Forces a seven-footer. That one's no good. Her first miss. But a Florida Gulf Coast rebounding foul. That is their fourth, so no shots. Yes, by, by Fua being that big, someone undercut her. I'm not sure who the foul was called on. But she was able to get that foul drawn. Yeah. And... Wait to see who it was on. You might see the lob here again. Yep, Payne lobs it, but it's yep. out up top to Afua. Left wing over to Morris. That foul was on the list. Forces a shot about 12 footers Morris, and she drew contact on the foul from Kendall Spray. Morris does a great job of shot faking and getting that shot up, and was fouled. Now Morris, a uh, five-six senior from Beaumont. We talked about spent a little time at Baylor, spent a little time at Rutgers, spent a year at Texas A&M, and now here at LSU, and she hits the free throw, and LSU's back up a point. But she started it with Coach Kim Mulkey back four years ago at Baylor, her freshman year. And has seven, looking for eight. That one spins out. Spray gets the rebound. LSU four of seven at the line. 39-38 LSU, two and a half minutes to go in the first half. Spray top of the key. Gets it out up top to Morehouse. Drives down the lane, and Morehouse split a bunch of defenders and took it home. Well, she is like a water bug, just racing down the lane. She's not very tall. She's only five foot three. She gets lost down there. And the Eagles have a one-point lead. Payne will bring it front court, right wing to Pointer. Pointer will find herself open for a 17-footer, and she hit it. Pointer with 16, 41-40. LSU back on top. Morehouse, right side of the lane, a kick out for a three that's good. Now somebody left Spray way too wide open. And you cannot leave her open. She can shoot it, and you don't want a shooter to get, well, shooter never lose confidence, but you don't want him to knock him down. She was 9 of 18 shooting this year. All of them were three. She's hit two today. It's 43-41. They have now hit 7 of 11. Morris dumps it to Newby in the lane. Leans in, has her shot blocked, but it's out of bounds, and LSU will get it back. Newby's had a few of her shots blocked. But she is still going to take it in there. Number zero, Kayla Webb, will come in. I believe this is the first time we have seen her. 5'6", senior from Pontiac, Michigan. LSU down two with the ball, a minute 35 to go in the half. Payne will lob it out to Pointer. Pointer with eight to shoot, gets inside the key to the free throw line. Jumper short. Trossi had a chance at the rebound, but couldn't get it. It's taken by Morehouse. Here comes the little guard, working on Payne. Kicks it out to Webb for three. That one's no good, and newbie the rebound. 43-41, LSU is out rebounding them 22-16. Newby now has six in the game. Webb, or rather a Payne top of the key, guarded by Morehouse, 14 to shoot. Payne is gonna dribble left side, running, shot off the glass and in, about a seven footer. No one else got open, so Payne kept it the entire possession. Tied at 43, open three left corner, Webb got that one. Transition defense. Yep. Webb just ran down on the corner, spotted, and it's 46 to 43, Florida Gulf Coast. 40 seconds to go in the half. Pointer out working uh, with Webb, working her, and we've got the referee called the blew the whistle, called a timeout, pointed at the clock. Don't know what he doesn't like about the clock. Stuff your stockings this season and play $100,000 Happy Holidays from the lottery. Went up to 15 times. You went up to $100,000 by visiting your favorite lottery retailer, and you can ask for 100,000 Happy Holidays. 45% for the game. And Payne will inbound, and she will get it to Pointer. Carly C looking at her. Pointer will dribble diagonally to the left wing with 10 on the clock. 
three-pointer, lobs it down low, Afua left baseline, Afua works her way in, stops, will kick it right corner to Payne with four, Payne drives baseline, leans, duck, six-footer, glass rim, no good, and Florida Gulf Coast rebound, and they can play for one and go out of here with a two-possession lead. Morehouse with eight, now seven, dribbling left sideline. Morehouse gets a screen, will get it to Bell for three left wing. She missed it. Rebound taken by Morris, who will heave it from behind half court. Not quite there, and that will be the end of the first half. A very exciting and entertaining first half from the Maravich Center. Sees Florida Gulf Coast lead it, going to the locker room. It's 46-43. We're back after this on the LSU Sports Radio Network. Morris and Pointer. And Trossi. And Trossi. Yeah, no... Now, they, they have a stat on the stat sheet called plus-minus. That tells you when you're in the game what the score is. Guster's was a minus 13. So that tells me that maybe Florida Gulf Coast was exploiting her. The shot clock didn't start, so they're gonna we're going to restart. Yeah, so they, they do a plus-minus. So from when you're in the floor, what is the score of the game? And when Guster's was in for 11 minutes... Not saying she played bad or anything like that, but the numbers say that something was going on when Gusters was in the game that right. Florida Gulf Coast took advantage of. List has the ball. She's got three fouls. That snuck up on us at the end of the first half. Morehouse, their guard, gets it out top to Bell for a three, and she hit it. Oh, boy, they have just uh, been lighting them up. 49-43, they get a quick three, so LSU down six. Pointer right wing over to Cherry. We'll see what LSU can do with their first possession. Cherry gets it to Trossi at the top, lobs it into a lot of traffic, looking for Newby. Fortunately, out of bounds off Florida Gulf Coast. I didn't pick up, but who did you see who was guarding Bell that time down? Well, there was a that was a down screen and Pointer. I'm not sure who was screened, but Pointer tried to help, and it was just too late. It was a great screen for Bell to come out. All right, so and, and uh, coach going to play maybe offense defense again. Newby and Trossi are out. Gusters and Afua are in. Pointer will inbounds to Morris. Catch down low and then bounce under to Pointer. Went up for a layup, was tied up. It will be LSU possession. Well, Pointer is so good at inbounding the ball and then coming back inbounds and her teammates finding her. Yeah, they do a great job of finding her. And she unfortunately had her shot blocked, but it was a tie ball inbounds and a shot by Gusters. No good, but she's fouled by number four, Morehouse. That's and, a that's a tall task for Morehouse to try to do. 5-3 Morehouse defending 6-5 Gusters. Yeah, and that's the other thing LSU does well on the inbounds under the bucket. Just Again, Florida Gulf Coast doesn't have anybody bigger than 6-1, so Gusters is going to at 6-5 just lob it up to her and let something good happen. Free throw is no good. LSU 6-10 uh, of 10 now at the line. Gusters was one for two in the first game. That one is good. And they're going to sub them in and out again. So that is how Coach is going to apparently likes our offense, defense, big people line up. Morehouse quickly. Oh, oh I think, I, oh. Hell, crowd thought the same thing as she drug her feet. There was no call. List, right wing, chased by Newby. List drives around Newby. Tough layup, no good. Pointer rebounds. Pointer into the front court, LSU down five. Pointer free throw line, jumper, nobody picked her up, but she missed the shot and is taken by Bell. Well, nobody decided to guard Pointer and the shot has been falling. Bell a three from the top, she hit another one. Trossi uh, had got faked and fell back and Bell has 20, including four of six shooting threes and they are up eight, their biggest lead. Pointer fakes a three, goes free throw line and dishes in the corner, it's stolen. Pass by List up ahead to Morehouse. Layup is good, and LSU is down 10. Yeah, Bell started this second half like she started the game. and Eight to one run for Florida Gulf Coast. Yeah, this is kind of how the game started, and LSU got to kind of settle back in and get something going. Morris right wing, LSU down by 10. Morris free throw line, gets it to Pointer. Pointer inside the key, and a screen away from from the ball. Alexis Moore has called for a uh, illegal screen. Yeah, Pointer does a great job coming off screen, so Morris just needs to get her feet set and not move. She doesn't have to lean one way or the other and allow Pointer to do the work. All right, a little bit of a dangerous moment here for LSU, down by 10 and uh, having to defend here. 
Morehouse pass, top of the key to List. Drives around, Gusters into the lane, stops, kicks it into the corner. Driving in, and a foul as Phils drove in before the shot. Gusters not quite quick enough to keep up, and Florida Gulf Coast will inbound. Florida, they spread, Florida Gulf Coast spreads the floor. That's a tough task for Gusters to defend the perimeter. List looking to inbound. She does. It's caught by Phils inside the arc. Or make that Cox, I beg your pardon, number 15. Pass down low to Bell. Layup is good. Had her down there on pointer. And Bell is just giving LSU the fits that we were afraid she might. It's a 12-point game, a 10-to-1 run to start the half. LSU's got to get some offense. Afua in the lane, stops, turns, five-footer, won't go. But it's out, ricochets off two Florida Gulf Coast players out of bounds. Afua's got to get her head around and find the basket and not just throw it up. Shoot with intention. Yeah, because she is the tallest person out there. Or, well, she's way taller than anybody wearing blue. Inbounds lobbed up Afua. That time, four-footer, bouncing, couldn't get it. And it's taken the other way by Bell. Now she's in a little bit of trouble here to Morehouse. Layup is swatted by Cherry, who says, no, no, not going to have, not having any of that. And Florida Gulf Coast will get it back. And we're going to see Trossi and Newby shuttle back in. Athua having a tough shot, tough time getting her shot because she's two for eight. LSU 0 for three in the quarter. Florida Gulf Coast four for six. Carly C is going to come back in, but not quite in time. Play is in. Morehouse working on Morris. Kicks it out to List in the lane. Out to Bell. Cherry guarding her, and that one worked. She had to pass yes. it off to Cox. Up top, List. List behind the arc. Pass down low. Bell had to be fouled by Cherry on the shot. They, uh, she slipped the screen and went down and, and was open. She does a great job of, of uh, splitting that screen and the communication with the with the Tigers have got to get better on ball screens. The Florida Gulf Coast, a 10 to one run to start the quarter and Bell will shoot two free throws to make it a little worse. And was that Cherry's third foul? Yeah, it was. Mm. Free throw is no good. Now she's 0 of 2 at the line. She's 4 of 6 from the arc. They, uh, Florida Gulf Coast, 10 of 16 shooting threes. And here comes the second one. That one is in. 23 for Bell. All right, Tigers got to get to work. We played three minutes into the half. They have not scored a bucket, just one free throw. Morris, left wing to Pointer. Pointer gets a screen. Pointer goes left elbow. Jump shot is off the back iron. It won't go. And Bell had the rebound, but it's stripped away. Taken by Morris. Hands to Pointer. Pointer laid it up and in. And an LSU timeout after that. So Pointer gets LSU on the board. It's Florida Gulf Coast 57, LSU 46. We'll take the break here on the LSU Sports Radio Network. Slow Bell down. She has scored from every place on the court. She scored every possible way. I mean, they're shooting almost 67% this quarter. And she is doing it against just about it. Oh, and, oh, and she slipped, or actually, wait. on the inbound, um, Bell tried to inbound, the ball slipped out of her hands, and they're gonna call a violation. I think they're lucky. That because, we didn't, yeah. Because the ball slipped into an LSU player's hands. I think Morris picked it up and was gonna lay it in. So what was... Oh, that's all right. Now, as we see on the replay, she never actually had it. So really, that might be a tough break against them, but Pointer will inbound it for LSU, and it's into the corner and stolen anyway. So uh, a tough break there all the way around. Stolen by 32, List. Spray, the three-point shooter, out to List, up out of Morehouse. Morehouse inside the key, gets it back out to Spray, guarded by Trossi way out there, seven to shoot. Bell, left sideline, pass over to Morehouse. Morehouse down the lane, working on Morris and laid it in. 14 for Morehouse and the Florida Gulf Coast up 13 now. And those are the defensive breakdowns we can't see. Pointer, left wing Morris, left corner Cherry. 5.53 to go in the third quarter. Cherry dribbles inside the arc left side. Double clutch shot, not good, but Trossi gets the rebound as she's falling down, kicks it out to Cherry. Now she will get another shot at it. Great effort by Awa Trossi falling down, but still got the board and was able to kick it out to her teammate. But the shots have gone cold. Morris is called for a travel. And LSU's offense 
is just in a funk here in the second half. They've only got three points, and they're only shooting one for six. Morris will leave, and uh, for the first time since she entered the game five seconds in, and Brian Payne will come in. Maybe she can add a little spark here. Morehouse gets it out, long range of spray, hits a cutting Bell, shot fake, five footer is good off the glass. Bell's got 25 at 61-46. And it has been a 15 to three run for them to start the second half. Payne left wing to pointer guarded by C and fouled by C. Who didn't agree with the call. I think she got a little much of her uh, old buddy Car of uh, Kayla there. I think Kayla's realizing how tight Carly is guarding her, so let's see if we can come off that screen and get open and get a foul called. Seneca Hackley, number 24, in for Florida Gulf Coast. We saw a little bit of her in the first half. She committed a couple of fouls in two minutes. Ellis, you're down 15. Got to get some offense Gotta going. Got to get something going. 61-46, pointer at long range, right side over to Payne. Bounce pass to Gusters in the lane. Turns four-footer, left it short. Just those shots have got to fall, and they're not right now. Spray, rebound. Spray, top of the issue. Well, he's going to pull up for a three. Gets it behind her to Bell. Back to Spray, 4-3, and it's good. Oh, they are putting on a show. They're putting on an offensive clinic of how to move the ball and how to move without the ball. And they are up by 18. Pointer into the lane, running shot, flips in about a 10-footer. Pointer's got 20. Got to, got to get some stops yeah, here. Yeah, you say that, and every time we say that, it seems like Florida Gulf Coast hits a three. They're 11 of 17. Finally, Bell misses one. That was a guarded shot taken by Pointer. Pointer in a hurry, down the lane, dishes, and it's called for a travel, oddly enough. Of all the things that could have been called, I'm not sure that was one of them there. Yeah, I don't know if I agree with that one. And Kim Mulkey does not agree with that one. But we'll take the break. 4.16 to go, third quarter, 64-48, Florida Gulf Coast on the LSU Sports Radio Network. That she is that caliber player. All right, so LSU got to string together some stops here, which has been hard for them to do. Emma List will bring it front court, gets it right wing to Spray, who is three of three shooting threes, out to... Bell, who drives over Cherry and lays it in. And they are clearing out that lane for Bell. Uh, they just spread it so much. She can just go one-on-one. -on -one. She is 11 of 15. 66-48. Gusters down low looking for a foo. It's tipped out of bounds, and LSU will get it back. Post players trying to get it to each other. and didn't work out. May need to give a pass fake because they're helping so much and try to find a guard. Pointer will inbound. She'll get it to Cherry, left wing. And Cherry had her pass knocked down, but right back to her. Cherry into the free throw line. Jump shot is good. That's a big shot. Cherry, that's a shot she likes. Coming around the corner, stop and pop at the free throw line. 66-50. Cherry's going to try to guard Bell, who will kick it out to Phils. Phils into the lane around Cherry. Layup is good. 68-50. Can't, just can't stop him. Pointer goes baseline. A blocking foul is called on Morehouse. That's only three Florida Gulf Coast fouls. Alexis Morris will come back in. And let's shoot. They're, they're allowing direct drives to the basket. So even if they were to force them to go, go wide, maybe we can get some stops. Well, they got them to miss some layups in the first half because the, there were people kind of guarding the layups, but these have been a little more open. Pointer tried to inbound to Cherry. It's knocked away. The ball is on the floor. A tie ball, and that will go to Florida Gulf Coast. That time the inbound under the basket did not work. It has on many occasions. It did not there. A 22-7 Florida Gulf Coast third quarter. Has them up by 18. They only led by three at the half. List will get it up top to Bell. Cherry knocked it away from her that time, and Cherry's got the steal. She's on the floor, needs help, and finally gets it off the pointer. Pointer will head down the lane, dish to Morris, who hands it off to a Fua. Layup is good, but a foul called before. I think a blocking foul called on Phils before Morris dished it. I think. It was. Yes. Now, that's one you almost wish they had eaten the whistle yes. there. Because, hold, it, hold it there. Yeah, but it was a foul after the dish. Yes. 
But LSU has a chance to convert a turnover into points. C is back in for fills. And somebody else is also trotting in. Number 15, Tyra Cox is in. She started, has been in foul trouble the whole game. Inbounds comes to Morris, right wing. Morris out at long range, up top to Pointer. Down by 18. Pointer gets it to Cherry. 18-footer left corner. It's good. She's hit two in a row. Actually, she had a three. Cherry was in the corner, got a three there. Pass deflected up top, taken by Morehouse. So it's 68-53, or 62. Top of the key to C. Drives around Afua to the bucket. She missed the layup, and Afua the rebound. Actually, I do not believe, I think the PA guy said three a while ago, but it is not a three. I think it was a two, yeah. Yeah, it was definitely a two. So, uh, 68-52 down low. Guster's wide open. Layup is good. And I believe a foul on Bell. Guster's got to be a little careful. She slammed the ball hard after making that one. Yeah, I think the official may have given her a warning. I know you're excited, but you yeah. have to keep your composure in these situations. 68-54, so LSU has chopped four off of the lead. And their energy comes off of defensive stops. So just getting stops and doing some great things with it. Points off turnovers, and then they finally got a missed layup there. C had you know, Fua in the neighborhood. Guster's trying for the three-point play, and it rolled out. And it's out of bounds to Florida Gulf Coast. Now, Guster's one of three, has five points. All right. Looks well, like we might see some full court. Yeah, well, let's, and why not? Let's start yeah, up not? a little bit here. Inbounds comes to in the backcourt. It's Morehouse. Morris, Morris took yes. it from her. She's on the floor and calls timeout. And that's got everybody excited on the bench and in the crowd again. Morris picked Morehouse's pocket. And we know defense is going to get them going. So coach is like, let's pick up full court and get things going. Did she not call a timeout? They there? may have called a foul. So after, okay. after the turnover, Morehouse fouled. All right. That even better. Save the timeout. So Morris gets her fourth steal. LSU will inbound. Need to take advantage of that. Pointer will lob it to Afua inside the key. Out to Cherry, right wing. Two minutes to go in the quarter. Down by 14 with the ball. Cherry pa oh, oh. almost traveled. Gets it up top. Pointer. 20 on the shot clock. Gets a screen from Gusters. Pointer in the lane. Dish to Cherry. Will take an off-balance three. Not a good look. And a foul, I think, on Gusters. Well, Cherry forced that a little bit. She did force that. I think you, you swing the ball, one more one more pass. Yep, little impatient because she had to kind of double clutch on her shot. So Newby will come in. So we still see a little bit more full court pressure. Yep, they inbound from the side. They get the ball to Bell and then send everybody into the front court. So they're going to let Bell dribble it. Now pass into the front court to List. A minute 44 to go third quarter, 68-54 Florida Gulf Coast. Morehouse right side on the wing. Now to the top of the key. Out very long range to Cox. Pass underneath. There's Bell, and a layup is good on a cut down the baseline. Bell has that backdoor cut, and they just move the ball a lot, and you get a little... A little caught up watching the ball that you lose her. 29 for Bell, 70-54. Not sure how you lose her. Uh -oh. Pointer has a shot blocked by Bell, a 15-footer. Bell got the rebound, lob ahead to C, down to Morehouse, who missed the tough layup. And Cherry rebounds for LSU, but her pass slips out of her hand in the front court, stolen by List. Down the lane, Morehouse around. Morris missed the layup, taken by Newby. Morehouse has missed a couple of chippies, but she, you know, she's a little undersized, and there's some, some contested there. 45 seconds to go in the quarter. Florida Gulf Coast by 16, and Pointer. Well, illegal screen called on Trossi up top. Yep. Pointer was going to try to use it, and Trossi was moving. She did that a few times last year. Yes. Like I said, if you get set, allow Pointer. Yes, she pushed her hip into her. A 16-point game. Emma List, the senior from Colorado Springs, into the front court will hand it off to Morehouse. 
Back to List, 11 second difference between the clocks. List drives around her man, left-handed layup. She forced it too hard, no good. Pointer rebound. Pointer, diagonal pass up ahead to Morris. Morris on the lane, leans in, four-footer off the glass and good. Morris has nine. 70-56, LSU down 14. Unfortunately, Arrow goes to Florida Gulf Coast. They have a chance for two straight possessions here. Seven, six, five, Morehouse at long range. will take a wide open three, it's no good. Rebound, Newby, and we'll go to the fourth quarter. So, LSU got down 18, they cut it to 14. Florida Gulf Coast, though, a big third quarter, 24 to 13. They win the quarter, but LSU still hanging in. Down 14 as we go to the fourth on the LSU Sports Radio Network. Well, get, a, get the first chance to get a stop here. At the top of the key, it is List. Puts it on the floor at the top. Off to Bell. Cherry's going to try to guard her. Bell will leave it for Morehouse. Little guard down the lane. Tough layup is good that time. Penetration and buckets again. 16 for Morehouse. It is a 16 point game. He did not get the stop you needed out of the quarter break there. Pointer to the right wing at the top, Morris. Morris to the left wing, 12 to shoot. Morris crossover dribble around her man. Leaner, five footer off the glass and rim and in. Boy, what a addition. Morris has been 11 points for her. Quickly the other way, Morehouse around Morris, and Morris fouled her on the shot and then is going to help her up after uh, conking her in the head a little bit un unintentionally. And I mean, you look up and Morehouse is down yeah, the floor. I was going to say, made shot, missed shot. They're getting it out of the out of the net, and Morehouse pushes that ball so fast. Now, they've only been to the line uh, a few times, three for five. Morehouse is not – actually, she has been. She's two for two. And she missed it. 72-58 uh, again, uh, Afua and Gusters are going to shuttle in if a make is happening, and it does not, and Cherry gets the rebound. So LSU can uh, get a little closer. They were down 18. They can get within 11 or 12 here. Cherry's at the top. Cherry into the lane, running one-hander. Good by Cherry. Transition defense. They've got to get back. 10-point, 12-point uh, game. Cherry's got six. Morehouse spins, kicks it out to Bell. Can't shoot the three. Morris is out there up top to Cox. Cox is going to drive right side. She's going to bring it back out. Well, I need a stop here down 12 so you can get some momentum. Right side to List. Eight to shoot deep on the wing. List up to Morehouse with four. Back to List. Fakes a three. She drives the lane. Layup is good. Just couldn't keep her out of the lane and, and couldn't stop it. 74-60, pointer down the lane. She's to the hole, lays it in. It counts and a foul. Well, LSU beat them on transition there. Yes, that's a great, great job pushing it back. And now LSU cannot trade baskets with Florida Gulf Coast. I mean, they had them where they wanted them there uh, with List at the top with about three on the shot clock. but And Newby just opened up her hips and just allowed that, that layup. Now, pointer has 20. Two, looking for 23. 821 still to go. Free throw. That one is good. So uh, slowly but surely chipping away a little bit. Here they come. Morehouse down the left side. We'll get it out to Spray. Got to guard her at the top to Bell. You definitely got to guard her. Bell deep left side to Phils. Phils runs into Cherry. That's a charge, and LSU will get it back. That's a great play to get some momentum going. Cherry did a great job of moving her feet. Just a better job as a team, staying active. And the taxi squad back at it again. <laughs> they are going to get their sprints in, just running from the bench to the scorer's table. Yes, every dead ball we see Coach Mulkey is being strategic in her subs. Afua and Gusters in for this offensive possession. Can get it below 10 for the first time in a little while. Morris, right wing. LSU shooting 46% from the floor, but Florida Gulf Coast 57%. Afua, 18-footer straight away. It's good. And it's a nine-point game. She developed that shot last year a little bit, used it there, and LSU trying to get back. See, right side to spray for three. She hit it again. And that's what makes it tough having those big players in, having to go out and defend yep. that perimeter. Cherry will pull up for a 10-footer. It's good. 
And I think Kim Mulkey wants a timeout. It is a 10-point game, 77-67, 376 career three-pointers among her stops at UT Martin, Clemson, and now Florida Gulf Coast. Need a stop, the crowd trying to get into it. Top of the key to Bell. They have won 21 straight road games, have the Eagles. They don't, don't get bothered by much. C, behind her back, into the lane, lean, six-footer, no good. Pointer, the rebound after good defense. C wanted a foul. LSU can get close as they have been in a while. They were down 18 at one point. Morris, left wing, gets the screen from Newby. Goes baseline, running one-hander. No, but she is fouled and will get two. As she was fouled by Spray. And she did a good job of refusing the screen. So she had a screen. She refused it and went baseline and was able to draw some defense. And I think that is a mismatch there. I don't think Spray is one of their better defenders. And I think Morris liked that matchup, and they went to it. Yes. Now she's got to hit a couple of free throws. And she does on the first one. 77-68. LSU creeping back. And there's still 6.51 to go. Morris's second one is, oh, that one popped out. Rebound battle for, and it's out of bounds off Trossi. The LSU got one point back, and they're down by nine. 13, uh, Phils is out. And Emma List back in. She's in with Morehouse, Spray, Bell, and C. Carly has played 24 minutes, scored eight points. A little bit of pressure. But they're going to back away. List will find Morehouse. Ellis, you got to defend him in the half court. Morehouse at long range. Crossover dribble fell down, but picked it back up. Morris guarding her close. Morehouse on the right wing. Heads into the lane. Will dish out. Shot faked by List at the free throw line. Back out Morehouse. Six to shoot. Morehouse takes Morris on the dribble. Throws it up off the glass. No good. Newbie rebounds to Morris. Ellis, you can get closer here. Down by nine, they've cut the 18 point lead in half. And we'll see if they try to get something going inside. Morris drives to Newby, shot fake, dribbles down the lane, layup no good, and she is called for a charge. Now the, the lane appeared to open up for Newby. We haven't seen her off the dribble a whole lot. And the officials are talking now, maybe would they possibly change this? No, they're still saying it's newbie. Thought maybe one official was going to talk the other one out of it, but that did not happen. No, it didn't happen. And I, you know, newbie saw an opening. It looked like there's a timeout being called. Well, are they going to go to the monitor for something? They can't. I mean, that's a judgment call. You can't change a block charge call, but. Coach Maltney appealed whether the girl was in the restricted area. She was not. She gets charged with timeout. Okay. All right, so Coach Mulkey, as you, I think, heard Mark Zentz tell us, Coach Mulkey used a challenge there to see if there was, if she was in the restricted area. She lost the challenge. It was a charge, and uh, LSU does lose the timeout. So we'll head the other way. Morehouse, top of the key to Bell, leaves it up for List. Florida Gulf Coast by nine, we're under six minutes. Morehouse shot fake. And we got something away from the ball on LSU. LSU's not in any foul problems here. That's only the third of the quarter. Trossi commits her third. So there should not be shots involved here. Shot clock will recycle to 20. Yeah, this is going to be an important defensive possession defending this inbounds play. List will get it in over uh, far side. That is Spray. Back, hands it off to Bell. Bell back up to Spray. Shot fake on a three. Back out to Bell. Tend to shoot. Bell left corner. She's in trouble. Out to Spray. Left wing up top of the list. Right side Morehouse. Five to shoot. Back at the top. Bell who traveled with the ball. That was a great defensive stand. Great, great defensive stance. Every player stayed in front of their person and did what they needed to do on that possession. Well, the crowd uh, happy with the effort. Now they need a bucket to uh, keep some momentum going here. Pointer, Cherry, Trossi, Newby, and Morris, the five. 5.32 to go, LSU down 77 to 68. Pointer near the top of the circle. Picks up her dribble, lobs it right side to Trossi. Trossi dribbles, spins, ducks under, five-footer is blocked. Taken by Morehouse. 
Crowd wanted a foul, none coming. C, left wing, top of the key, list, right side, spray, a rainbow three. She missed she one. missed it. Had a runner at her and pointer rebounded. Somebody ran at her, might have been newbie. Pointer, top of the key at the five minute mark. Oh. And she's called for a push off on Carly C. And Kim Mulkey can't believe it. This may have been another foul called on Awa Trossi. For oh, Mook. was it? Okay. I saw. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw. I was watching the ball, but yeah, you are right. That is where the foul. No, they, it was called on Pointer. They did call. Oh, wow. Yeah. I that take take it, but no, it was on Trossi. I read the board wrong. So Trossi got that one. Bell down in the lane. We'll kick it left corner for a three by list. It's no good. Cherry rebound. Let's go get some points. Cherry down the uh, sideline to Pointer. Pointer in the lane. One-hander. No. Rebound. Batted around. Pointer's got it back and will kick it out. But stolen. Stolen by Morehouse. She's working on Cherry. Missed the layup. Put back. Spray is good. And Florida Gulf Coast up 11 again. Yeah, there's some empty possessions here that can get really frustrating. Yep, they've had some chances to get this thing closer. Morris picks up her dribble, left wing to Pointer. Pointer goes around the screen, into the lane, leans in, bad five-foot shot there, forced it, and is rebounded by Bell. Lobs it ahead to C. C to the bucket. Cherry blocked it, made her miss it, taken by Pointer. Pointer the other way, down 11. Pointer pass right wing to Morris. Alexis Morris looking. Will dribble in for a 17 footer. That's no good. Rebound and Trossi, I think, has run over somebody and will get called for the foul. So LSU has cooled off. Unfortunately, yep. at the same time, Florida Gulf Coast has cooled off. Right. As I say, they couldn't trade baskets, but now they're both missing baskets. And so. Trossi has fouled out of the game. Yeah, that was her, her fifth foul. Trying to go for that offensive rebound, but some empty possessions by both teams, and it doesn't help the Tigers to get those. Uh, Gusters uh, is in, and that put LSU over the limit, so free throws will be shot by Morehouse, who is two for four. 11-point game, Florida Gulf Coast, and time now has become a factor, 344. She got the free throw this time. Now, Bell has been quieter here lately. LSU's clamped down on her. But LSU's offense hasn't scored enough points to catch up. Second one is no good. A foo of the rebound. I think we'll see a sense of urgency now where they have to push the ball a little bit faster and try to find some shots. Yep, down by 12. Morris will lob it to Gusters, left side of the lane. Gusters spins. A little one-footer up and in. All right, that's an easy basket right there. Now, got to stop him. Gusters with seven. Out at long range, Spray. That layup she hit a minute ago was her first two-point bucket try of the year. List lost it, but a foul called on Pointer. Got a little too much body. List will go to the free throw line. She's five of six on the year. 80 to 70, Florida Gulf Coast by 10 with 316 to go. The List will shoot two. She has four points in the game. And she got that one. So it's back to 11. 81 to 70. And that one rattles home. No, oh, down by 12 again. Pointer to the front court. Pointer toward the right wing at the high post. Gusters will dump it down low. Afua, who is being held and fouled. That's only four on Florida Gulf Coast, so LSU will inbound. Yeah, and I think that was the objective of having the two big players in, Gusters and Afua, to go the high-low pass. And let's see if we see our lob. All right, Pointer will inbound. Pointer is going to lob it up for Afua in the lane. She dribbles, turns, forces a five-footer, and it's good. So Afua and you know, the big players starting to make their mark, but under three minutes to go down 10. Morehouse guarded by Morris gets it right wing spray for three it's good he's hit five of them you have to know where the shooters are and that felt like a backbreaker there 85 72 Florida Gulf Coast has hit 13 of 23 Gusters down low Afua is fouled 
but getting two and giving three is not a good trade. LSU's only hit one three today. Yeah, not a good trade off threes for twos, and hopefully a fool can step up and knock these free throws down while the time is, is not running. List commits her fifth foul. One of their uh, kind of veteran guards that Phils will check back in. And although Gusters is not used to defending the perimeter, when you have a shooter like Spray, you have to be disciplined to do it. Well, free throw. Nope. Yep. Oh, yeah, it is. It, I thought it was going to bounce off the side, but it kicked back in. And I think uh, it just hit every part of the rim. And it did catch the net. Well, the yes. thing about Spray, though, she's done it to a lot of people. She now has 377 threes in her career. Second one by Fu was good. All right. The stops have got to come here very quickly. Fu is up to 10 points. 2.30 to go. LSU down 11. Down three at the half. Top of the key to Cox. Cox you know, almost ran into Bell, but hands it off to her. Bell's going to drive. She pushes. Cherry, no call. Right side, Morehouse. Out to Bell for three, and it's good. She's got five threes, 32 points, and that may just about ice this one away. 14 of 24 shooting threes. Afua, six-footer, no good. And Spray gets the rebound. And we're under two minutes. Just couldn't get him to miss any three. And Bell with 32 points. Morehouse kicks it left corner and then back out. Found Cox, who then feels who got it to Cox. I think they'll use as much clock as they can. Yeah, they don't need any more points here. They just need to run some clock. Pass into the corner for a three. That one missed by Phils. LSU rebound. Cherry to pointer front court. She'll pull up for a three left wing. Left it short. Rebound tipped way out long and is taken by Morehouse. 88-74, Florida Gulf Coast. And Carl Smesco, their head coach, says pull this thing out. Run some clock. And some of the uh, crowd here begins to make their way toward the exits. LSU is not going to pull this one out today, it would not appear. Spray goes baseline, kicks it out to Cox. Cox drives, bounce pass underneath, and Cherry ties up her man. And LSU will get possession. Cherry did a good job of, of dropping and getting a jump ball. Um, the Tigers will get better from this. Defensive of. Uh, Field goal percentage was much too high. 53%, including 56% from the arc. Pointer out to Morris for three. No good. And a defensive rebound to Morehouse. 14 second difference between the clocks, but the Florida Gulf Coast is going to win their 22nd straight road game. Going back to almost two years ago today. Morehouse is going to dribble out some clock. They are a legitimate ball, and we knew it coming in, and they have showed everybody here they're, they're going to be very difficult. Yes, we knew it uh, coming in. Coach Mulkey knew it. Morehouse, a three at the buzzer, hit the glass. No good with 11 seconds to go. Well, LSU battled them shot for shot in the first half, but a, uh, a run to start the second half was too much for LSU to overcome. A 24-13 third quarter. Carl Smesco is going to empty his bench here, bring in a lot of new players who have not played in the game. And LSU will get one more crack at it. Pointer into the front court with eight seconds. Pointer on the right wing with five. Pointer will get it to Afua, right baseline, 10-footer, no good at the buzzer. And that is the ball game. The final score, Florida Gulf Coast 88 and LSU 74. We'll be back after this on the LSU Sports Radio Network.